When up to 70% of our dear ones in the country in the country face physical and or sexual violence in their lifetime. This gender-based violence has ripped has rippled effects in women business among their communities, nations and societies in public well well-being, health and safety, school achievement, productivity and law enforcement. For an effective response, different sectors in society must work together. For instance, a rape victim must have easy access to health, health clinic that can administer emergency medical care, including treatment to prevent HIV and unintended pregnancies. Victims of violence must have confidence that when they file a police report, the perpetrator will be brought to justice. A woman is, a be is, a be is beaten by her husband and needs to know she has a place she can go with her children for safety, sanity, and shelter. And finally, a woman must have a job, has, must have the job skills and the support she needs to get back on her feet. Economic independence can be one of the best tools for preventing gender-based violence. If a woman has a steady job, she can support herself. She, she, will, she can support herself. She will be more empowered to speak out and she can more easily protect herself and her, and her family from future violence. We near the end of the program today and as representative here of the U.S. government and the American people, I would just like all of you to stand for one minute just to join me in a moment of silence to mourn the passing and to celebrate the life of one of the greatest men who ever lived, a great champion of justice and of equality and of democracy, of freedom, Nelson Mandela. It is a terrible loss. Please join me in a moment of silence. Please be seated. I am very, very grateful for the opportunity today to speak with you, and I was very grateful to join you in the walk earlier. It was a very special moment, and I greatly appreciate the opportunity to be here with you and to join you in marking the first annual African Women Entrepreneurship Program Charity Walk, No Excuse for Abuse. Promoting the equality of women and eliminating gender-based violence is one of the top priorities for the U.S. government. It is one of the top priorities for my embassy and for me personally. We are very proud to support the government of Kenya's efforts in this regard and specifically to support the efforts during this 16 days of activism against gender violence. As we mark the 50th anniversary of Kenya's independence and of U.S.-Kenyan relations, AWEP and the efforts against gender-based violence really exemplify very much of what is best about our 50-year partnership. The great Desmond Tutu once said, if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. This is something we should all remember when we talk and we think about the issue of violence against women. All too often, this is regarded as a problem for women, as a problem for the victims, as something merely circumstantial to the life of the individual. 
The reality, of course, is quite different. The reality is that violence against women knows no boundaries when it comes to race, to ethnicity, to wealth, to religion, to nationality. The reality is that one in three women worldwide has been beaten, coerced into sex, or otherwise abused in her lifetime. The reality is that violence against women is a disease that affects every member of society, and those who fail to recognize their reality for what it is allow themselves to be part of the problem. I don't need to tell all of you how important women are. Whenever I've traveled, and wherever I've traveled in this great, great country, from Mombasa to Kasumu, from the south to the north, from the east to the west, I've seen women working to grow their businesses, to support their families, and to educate themselves. I've seen women with HIV taking their children to clinics to get tested, despite the threat of social stigma. I've seen women speaking out when they've been assaulted, despite the threat of further abuse. I've seen women support each other in hospitals and clinics after surviving truly terrible experiences. There are a lot of ordinary women out there, women and also men, who defy the pressure to stay silent and who take risks to seek justice. And these people are heroes of this country. And I just want to pay tribute to one who spoke out earlier. I think it is tremendous to hear the story. Those stories are so critically important to all of us to understand the problem and to overcome it. So thank you very, very much for your words earlier. When we think of leaders, sometimes we think of people with fame or fortune. And yet, as the American First Lady, Michelle Obama, has said, true leaders rarely start out in palaces or parliaments. What distinguishes leaders is the willingness to dig deep and to fight hard and to believe strongly that they can change the world. And I know all of you are leaders, and I know that all of you are digging deep as you work to bring change in this world and to address this terrible problem. 